Hello friends, this video on fractions part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we are left with the third one, mixed fractions. So looking at its name, it appears as if it is going to be a mixture of proper and improper fractions. But actually it is nothing like that. So mixed fractions are basically the mixture of a whole and a part. So in these type of fractions, you see a, a whole number and you also see a fractional number. So you see both of these. That sounds interesting, right? So mixed fractions are basically improper fractions. It is just a different way of representing the improper fractions. Now let us look at this example. Now let's say that you have eaten one complete pizza and after that you ate one fifth of the pizza. So this is one complete pizza and this is one fifth of the pizza. So you have ate it, you ate it all. So that means you ate one plus one by five. So when you find out its sum, you get 6 by 5. So 6 by 5 is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. Now there is another way of representing the same fraction and that is 1, 1 by 5. So this is another way of representing the same 6 by 5. So 1, 1 by 5 is equal to 6 by 5. So this is an example of mixed fraction. Why? Because you have a whole number part. So here 1 is the whole number part and 1 by 5 is the fractional part. Now since both the whole number part and the fractional part are present in the same number, that is why it is called mixed fraction because it is mixture of whole number and fractional part representation. Now you might ask that how do I know that this 1, 1 by 5 is equal to 6 by 5. So we will talk about that, that how do we convert improper fraction to mixed fractions and how do we convert mixed fractions to improper fractions. But for now just understand that mixed fractions are improper fractions but they are represented in such a way that you have a whole number part and you have a fractional part. Let's look at this scenario of a muffin. So how many muffins do you have? How many do you see on the screen? You have one plus you have one complete plus you have half. So you basically have one plus one plus half. So one plus one plus half would be two plus half. And when you actually find out its sum, it is going to be five by two. So five by two is the improper fraction. There is another way of writing it that is two and a half. This is how we read it. Two and a half. That means two complete and the third one is half. So that, that that's what it means. So this two and a half is again an example of a mixed fraction. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.